Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Today, Nebraska football continued to progress through fall camp in preparation for Minnesota on August 31st. After practice, several coaches and players met with the media. Running backs coach EJ, ba EJ Barthel was asked about his room's depth chart at the moment, and here's what he responded with. You know, I think ultimately, Coach Rule, right now, we're not, we're not talking about starters right now, right? Right now, we're really going to see who's going to represent the brand of football that we want to put out there uh, against Minnesota, right? So, really, we're still in that earn-it phase right now. And I think no one's really separate themselves um, as the clear guy. or you know. And the reality is we're going to have to use multiple guys throughout the season. That's, that's the reality. So, the biggest thing is the bottom half of our room, we got to make sure is ready to play, right? That's getting Quentin Ives ready to play, getting Emmett Johnson ready to play. When I say bottom half, I'm talking about youth. I'm not talking about um, uh, a talent. And um, you know, Trevin Lubin, right, being ready to play. So, that's, that's the biggest thing. The other thing is, too, is getting those guys prepared for special teams, right? You know, you may carry only four or five backs, right? Those guys that are on the bottom half, or bottom half of the room, need to be solid contributors on special teams on game day. So there's a lot of things going on right now we're trying to, you know, to work through for camp and to get ready for Minnesota. Coming up on the show tonight, we'll hear more from Coach Barthel, as well as a press conference from the offensive coordinator, Marcus Satterfield. And turning towards women's hoops in Greece, Alexis Markowski, Murkowski produced her second consecutive double-double of the trip with 19 points and 14 rebounds to help the Huskers roll the Petrus All-Stars 111-48 to earlier today. Also at the top of the stat line was grad transfer Darian White, who managed 15 points on nine boards, and junior Kendall Moriarty tallied 15 points and five assists. Nebraska concludes its three-game tour of Greece on Monday, August 7th, against the Crete All-Stars at 11 a.m. Central. Live video and live stats will be available on Huskers.com. And a few finals from earlier today in Major League Baseball. The Phillies topped the Marlins 4-2. The Rangers defeat the White Sox 5-3. The Royals win big over the Mets 9-2. The Royals take down the Blue Jays 6-1. And a Giants solo homer was enough to take down the Diamondbacks as they win 1-0. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. The trips to the near side, rolls the pocket right, being hit as he throws down the field. The pass is up for the in the air. Marquise Buford makes a pit. Here's the first INT of the year for the Husker. Mark East Buford pulls it out of the air at the Nebraska 24-yard line. Second and six, DeVito goes shotgun. Motions the tight end, so you have three eligible to the near side. A little screen to the near side. Huskers blow it up. Oh, what a play made by Quentin Newsom. Read that beautifully, made the tackle. It's a loss on the play of four yards. Snap back. They give it off to Anthony Grant. Picks his way to the left. Inside the 10, inside the 40, 35, 30. Breaks the tackle. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome in, everybody, to this Thursday night edition of Sports Nightly. I'm Jessica Cootie, and um, hope you're ready to roll with us, for with Cole and me, <laughs> for the next seven days. Greg is headed to Canada. He is on vacation, and we'll be out. We'll miss the, the next week or so of shows, but we do have some fun things lined up for you. We are going to have some special guests in studio next week. I have been talking about this, teasing it, Jeremiah Searles. We'll be a part of the show along with John Baylor. So we'll dive into all things with John Baylor. You can talk about anything with John Baylor. But uh, Searles and John Baylor, what, how does it get any better than that if we can't have Greg and Jessica, right, Cole? Uh, who, who, um, who are you more, I guess it's you unfair don't, to Don't ask. even ask me that. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> They're both great in their own right. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to have Searles in next week. Right now throughout fall camp, they're scheduling quite a bit of availability. So this is the chances for local media and um, to, to get to talk to the position coaches and, and the individual players from certain position groups. And it just so happens 
that Searles is going to be in studio on Tuesday. And guess what availability is Tuesday? Offensive line. line. So we'll be, be able to break down all things offensive line with Searles on Tuesday. So perfect timing on that regard. But we do have a little practice at this, so we should be able to manage, right? I think so. We've, we've been doing it a lot this summer, so we, <laughs> yeah, we'll be good. Well, as Cole mentioned, had availability, availability today after practice. This was the first time they, they'd been splitting things up. They had a couple different practices where they were able to get a lot of reps with some of the younger players. They had a full practice, everybody together today. And so after that practice, Marcus, Marcus Satterfield, EJ Barthel both met with the media. So we're going to hear from uh, both the offensive coordinator and running backs coach coming up, Marcus Satter, Satterfield here in just a few minutes. I got a chance to, to chat one-on-one -on -one for the first time with Ben Scott. And how much have we heard about him and, and how he's been able to fit right in? We heard... Um, uh, we heard a couple of those offensive linemen say it's like he's been here the whole time. And this is a group of offensive line linemen that have played a lot of football together, that have gone through a lot together. And they said it's been like Ben Scott's been here the entire time. That uh, they, if, if Ethan Piper said it's Phil, they've known him for six months and feels like they've known him for six years. So we're going to hear from him and uh, how he's working at center and, and fitting him with this group. And Nate Borkature, the tight end that was put on scholarship about a couple months ago, we're going to hear from him as well. And not trying to bury the lead here, but we do have Cole's bad joke segment of the week coming up in hour number two as well. So it's become a fan favorite. Cole, you're ready for another one tonight. Why preface it with bad? Well, because well, last it's... night, who was it last night? I, th I thought it was really funny. I think it was Steve. Maybe Steve texted in and said, Greg, please don't take away the bad joke segment. It's really funny, and but it's Cole's segment, so that's why I was like Cole's bad joke segment to give you a little hard time. But you're ready for it tonight, right? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm locked in. All right. Well, before we get to all of that, I did want to give an update on the expansion talk, right? Greg and I talked a little bit, well, quite a bit about it last night. Anytime this this comes around, which seems like every year now, you kind of forget how it develops with every single hour, it seems. And so some, some updates have happened since we were on the air last night. The Big Ten presidents met this morning. They did authorize the commissioner, Tony, Tony Petiti, to explore expansion. And the focus now being on the two teams, Washington and Oregon. We were chatting last night that Cal and Stanford could be in that conversation, but it, it sounds like now they're, they're zeroing in on Washington and Oregon. And, you know, these are two teams that back, dating back to last year, that th they've already been vetted. They've already been, um, you know, explored what, what they're going to add and bring to the conference. And so it wasn't like a, a lot of research had to be done, but just, you know, where we're at right now, it sounds like those two are the, the priorities. But it's, it's a wait and see mode at this point. It's not like the Big Ten's going to go after those two schools. It, it sounds like they're going to wait and see what the Arizona schools are going to do. And the uh, state of Arizona, Board of Regents have a meeting tonight uh, uh, that they have scheduled on their um, official minutes that they are going to meet about the athletics, uh, the future of athletics. And Pac-12 hasn't really come forward with a done deal. We, we, we chatted about this last night as well, that uh, Apple has offered, I think it was like $20 million a year, but it's not set in stone. And so um, it's, it's wait and see mode for what Arizona is going to do. But a couple of reports have come out that said that it doesn't sound very likely that the Board of Regents, the Arizona Board of Regents, would allow one team to stay in the Pac-12 and one team to go. So uh, to me, I take that as Arizona, Arizona State are a package deal. What else has unfolded? I mean, Florida State still talking like they want out, but the SEC has remained content. They're the one conference right now that's kind of stable at this point and, and wants to stay where they're at. And a lot of this is about the revenue, right? And where teams fit around the revenue that's already in place. Would it be, would it mean that, you know, some cuts would be made to the allotment that's already been promised? Where could additional revenue be brought in? And so, um, you know, again, lots of reporting going on out there that a lot of people have sources, but it sounds like that if Oregon and Washington came in and, and joined the Big Ten, that they would not be full members. They would not receive the full shares, more like half shares, so which would be about, I saw one report was 50 to 60 million. I saw one that was around 35 million, which is still way more, it was still more money than what they would receive if they would go to the Big 12. You know, I, I brought this up last night. If you bring in 
two more teams, and you're talking about sharing that revenue. And, and we've heard Trev Alberts talk a lot about how this day and age, where we are in college athletics, we have to be smart about the revenue because you never know where it could go, where we're playing, we're paying college athletes. I mean, it's just that's a conversation that's being had. And so you want to make sure that you're um, setting yourself up for that if it goes to that so that you, you have that revenue in place. I was kind of um, thinking about, okay, where else could the additional money come in? Because ESPN probably not going to shell out any more money with what they have locked into the SEC and the ACC. But, you know, Apple TV, some of the other streaming services, maybe Amazon Prime, if the Pac-12 falls apart, then Apple TV, that offer that's on the table, could bring in an additional revenue. And we heard Kevin Warren talking about that. In addition to the NBC, Fox, and CBS, that there were some streaming services that came to the table that wanted to be a part of this TV deal. So I think in, in terms of the Big Ten, and if you add a couple more, I do think maybe there could be some additional revenue that you could bring in from a streaming service that, that would maybe make up... Some of the difference there. Washington has also scheduled a Board of Regents meeting tonight. But um, uh, if the Pac 12 stays together, if they find a way to stay together, maybe add a couple other teams, figure out a way to, to piece it together, then the Big Ten will stay at 16 and wait and see. Um, I found this pretty is interesting. So USC and UCLA, when they join the conference, they're going to come in with a full revenue share and be full, um, full go with the other teams that are in. The Big Ten. When Nebraska joined, they didn't get the full share until year seven, Rutgers and Maryland, year eight. And um, Pete Thamel, I, I also mentioned, other than Notre Dame, what other really big you know, pieces are out there that would add revenue to what you already have in place. And at Notre Dame, right, is that school. And uh, Pete Thamel reported that any potential changes with the Big Ten or conference realignment, it's not expected to impact Notre Dame's view on independence. So it doesn't sound like they're moving either way. I, I did a breakdown, though, because in, in terms we're talking about where, does all the, where do all the conferences stand? And even going back to last year, so in 2022, Big Ten secured the most revenue. They were the, the highest earning revenue conference. SEC was second. Um, and then uh, Big 12 was third. ACC was fourth. So I, I went ahead and looked at what is going to happen moving forward. So starting in, in 2024. And Big Ten signed a seven-year, $7 billion deal with NBC, Fox, CBS. That is estimated to be between 80 and 100 million annually for the 14 teams, along with USC and UCLA when they join the conference. SEC has a 10-year deal in place, $3 billion. So each school could receive as much as 70 million a year. So 80 to 100 million, 70 million. Big 12, they signed a six-year deal at 2.28 billion, 31.6 million per school. So when you're talking about even those teams coming in and not being full revenue shares, they're still going to make more than what they would potentially get if they went to the Big 12. ACC, boy, I thought this was a bad deal when they signed it. They signed a 20-year deal with ESPN. And this is, you know, when we were talking about, it's, it's so much, it, there's so much ever-changing. And it sounded like a long-term deal to get locked into. And now that's why we're seeing Florida State and some of the other Clemson be unhappy with their share. They signed a 20-year deal with ESPN, $30.6 million for each of the 15 member schools with Notre Dame in basketball. So they are fourth and they are locked into that thing for a long time. So unless something uh, becomes available, the SEC makes the most sense if you're in terms of Florida State and Clemson, but uh, it sounds like the SEC is not ready to budge. But there's a breakdown of, of where that money is and that's a significant amount of money, right? So, um, that, and that's what this all circles around. It's gonna be wild to see it's it kind of again is is um, hanging on the balance of what the Pac-12 does. If they find a way to stay put, if Arizona wants to stick together, then and they they stay intact, then the Big Ten won't make moves. If Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, if one of those schools make the move, then that's when uh, that that talk could happen with Oregon and Washington, and with Stanford and Cal Stanford and Cal out. We had this discussion last night. Cal, to me, doesn't add much in terms of athletic prowess, right? I mean, their, their academic school, yes, that, that adds there, but it's in terms of what they bring in athletically, not a lot. Stanford has um, a, a lot. They're, they've been, they've won the Director's Cup 
for several years. They have so many teams. They've got competitive teams uh, in the ball board spat, uh, the baseball, softball. They've got women's basketball. They've got a lot of teams that compete at a high level. So where do they end up if the Pac-12 falls apart? It's still a lot to unfold, and this has been a storyline ever since the dominoes began to fall. What I don't know, when was that, 10 years ago? Um, that it seems like every year, every couple years, that we, we continue to have this conversation. And recently, it's been every year. And so it's going to continue to to be a story that unfolds, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, find out. What happens soon enough, it could happen really within the next 24 to 48 hours. I think I read where the, the media rights uh, deal that's in place for the Pac-12 expires on Friday. So it, it could move quickly if this thing does unfold. So we will keep you posted, and we will have Jeremiah Searles on the show tomorrow night so we can get his thoughts on all of this as well. All right, got to work in our first break here on Sports Nightly. If you want to be a part of the show, 402-413-2400. You're going to want to make sure you have that number ready to text in. Coming up in hour number two for Cole's Bad Joke Night of the Week. And the Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Marcus Satterfield from the press conference after practice coming up after this on Sports Nightly. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska is known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid materials with protein or Redmond Natural Mineral Salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn help take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knuckle. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveeislesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Today we have two very special guests on our program, introducing Lemon hey. and Lime Hello. for new Starry Lemon Lime Soda. 
Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip. Works for me. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Husker fans, we need your support in celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium while cheering on the Huskers this fall. Purchase an all-new Husker football Big Ten three-game package today for only $100. This package gets you a ticket to the Northwestern, Purdue, and Maryland home games, all for just $100. A very limited amount of Husker football single-game tickets are also on sale. Tickets are only available while supplies last. Purchase yours today at huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red! America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. There's no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and have been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Nebraska Athletics. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. I'm Jessica Cooty. Cole Hartman back there on the board for us, helping me out. Greg Sharp out for the next uh, week or so, so uh, we'll be uh, driving this ship without him. But we uh, have lots of football to talk about, lots of football to get to. Cole, do I have an open in this? I'll just... Okay, all right. I just, you know, I'm, I'm new at this, still uh, driving this thing without Greg. So we have another practice report to get to tonight. The 1890 Initiative presents the Nebraska Football Practice Report. We're talking about practice. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890Nebraska.com. All right, so the offensive coordinator, Marcus Satterfield, met with the media today. So we got some of his uh, uh, some of his sound bites that he had today, some of the big takeaways that Cole and I thought were, were pretty good. So we, we start with just uh, what he's seen out of the offense so far through camp. Uh, it's still early in the stages. Uh, I mean, I think the guys, what I've seen is I just, I told them that I appreciate the work they did in the summer. Uh, they made a huge jump in the summer just, uh, just, just as a unit of knowing what to do, of how we do it, uh, leadership starting to step up at the top. Uh, I think they had a great summer. Our strength staff did an unbelievable job. The player run practices, I think the, the, the leaders on our offense did a really nice job. And you can tell it's a lot smoother transition, obviously, you know, from the spring to the fall camp. It's funny, every time I ask a different player, whether it's a running back, a tight end, offensive lineman, how much they're liking the offense, they really light up and say how much they like it. Um, I was I've also been pretty um, intrigued to hear a lot of them have said that it's kind of mimics something that they've ran before dating back to high school or somewhere else. And so uh, I've, I've just heard over and over again, especially from those running backs and tight ends and the offensive line, how much uh, they like running this offense. And, and um, Ben Scott has um, one of those new additions, and he said he's been diving into the playbook, doing uh, everything he can to make sure that he knows everything about this offense and and the playbook and everything like that and so uh, Mar uh, coach Satterfield was asked about Ben Scott and what he's add, added to this veteran offensive line 
Uh, just physicality, maturity, a uh, guy that's played a lot of football. Uh, you know, he's been here since last Christmas or last, you know, last spring. And so he's, you know, it feels like I'm sure to him he's been here his whole time. So, I mean, that group is unbelievable. Like I've said before, just how close they are and the unit that they are. Uh, he's just made it just that much stronger. We're going to hear from Ben Scott coming up in hour number two. It was great chatting with him. And a spoiler alert, how many times have I said offensive linemen make the best interviews? He is definitely on that list as well. Billy Kemp, the wide receiver transfer. How We've, we've heard his name a lot, especially since fall camp began. We heard from him. Uh, Greg was able to chat with him the other day. And so we've, we've heard from his teammates and uh, Coach Rule. But here is what uh, the offensive coordinator had to say about the veteran wide receiver. Oh, for sure. I mean, he's just so super competitive. It's so important to him. He's so respected, and, and he doesn't really say anything. It's just how he works and how he competes. And I mean, his leg could be falling off, and you got to pull him off the field. I mean, he's the most, one of the most competitive kids I've ever been around. So he's he's doing a really nice job right now of leading those young kids and you know tutoring those guys in the in the meeting rooms as well. What was it the coach rule said the other day, Cole? That uh, if he ever needed some backup in an alley, Billy Kemp was the number one guy. He he call on to help him out I think if yeah he ever got into trouble in an alley he'd call on Billy Kemp because he's gonna he's gonna show up for him and he's a fighter he's um a really well liked on this football team um that's a another group I've been out to one practice so far I'm gonna go out for a little bit tomorrow and then Saturday and so I'm gonna um, try to watch the wide receivers a little bit more because that's a position group that um, I'm, I'm uh, really interested to see who emerges there and then who becomes one of those, a uh, couple of those guys that can be relied upon if uh, the uh, deep ball is needed or um, even a third down situation. Who's your, um, who's your security blanket that we saw from most quarterbacks usually have one of those guys. All right, the running back room. That is a, also another really intriguing position battle throughout fall camp. Coach Satterfield was asked about how that room is coming along. Being you know, dependent, knowing what to do, dependent in pass protection, dependent catching the ball, dependent route running, dependent hitting your landmarks, just a guy that we can depend on. Uh, obviously, the physicality in which we play with, he needs to be able to you know, be durable and get the ball downhill, run between the tackles. And I think it's going to take more than just one. It's going to take two or three, especially in this league, the way these guys play defense. You know, it's going to be a, it'll be a long year for a running back as much as we're going to run it. Speaking of that, how much does he plan on running the football? The preference is to have Bo Jackson, right? But, you know, there's not a lot of Bo Jacksons that are, you know, are out there. So we've got, you know, a room full of really talented guys that do a lot of different things. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't want to be one of those teams that have five running backs to get two carries a game. We want some guys that have a role on our off or in the offense. But, you know, it's, it's going to take more than just one this year for us to be successful. And they've got a few that they can rely upon. The thousand yard rusher and Anthony Grant, we've heard Gabe Irvin all the rage, and he just, he looks massive. I know that we've had that conversation. A lot of people have talked about that. There's been some photos posted of Gabe, but he just, even just standing out of practice today, when I saw him the other day at practice, he just looks so big. He looks like a guy that could play fullback, although I asked him about that in the spring. He is pretty adamant, no, he's not going to play fullback. But, you know, we're going to hear from EJ Barthel coming up in hour number two, and, and that is the consensus. Hey, we're going to need more than one. We're going to need more than two. And so I think there's they've got a, a few guys that they can call on, and EJ Barthel even goes into, hey, even if you're not running the football, if you're not getting as many touches, you're going to be a part of special teams. And he said that. I found that quote back when he was first hired about – the running backs have to be the ultimate teammate. They have to do a lot of things that, besides just carrying the football, that don't always show up in the stat sheet. They've got to be good in, in um, pass protection and in special teams. They have to be just the elite teammate. And so there's going to be a, a lot of, I know if B.J. E. Barthel had his way, there's going to be a lot of roles for a lot of those running backs, for multiple running backs, besides just who's uh, lining up there and, and taking the handoff. But... Certainly, it seems like uh, Gabe Irvin and um, Anthony Grant, uh, one and two at this point. And then Ramir Johnson, I saw him uh, make a really nice play at practice the other day. And you'd think maybe probably he's your best pass catching running back as well, if, if that's something that they need out of the running backs as well. So uh, I think they got, they got lots of guys back there that they're really excited about. But no starters yet. That's 
pretty clear they do not have a starter yet, and that's going to continue to unfold throughout fall camp and could even change throughout the season. And um, but we will continue to follow that as well. All right, fullbacks. Uh, Coach Satterfield was asked about the role of the fullback. Yeah, and we said it when we first got here, like, we're a positionless offense, as funny as that sounds. Like, you know, you might be called a tight end, but you might also line up at receiver. You might line up at fullback. You might line up at running back. You might line up at quarterback. Who knows, right? Everybody has a certain skill set, and we'll come up with all these, you know, weird plays and stuff of how to attack defenses. And if a guy's skill set calls uh, for him to be in line or offline or a receiver, then he'll do that. So, you know, those guys are good players, and, and we're going to get them out there on the field any way we can. All right, one of the other um, big storylines, of course, was the fact that Bob Wager was uh, resigned from his position as the tight ends coach. Josh Martin was able to step right in and uh, fill that role. Josh Martin, who, you know, we've, we've talked about his bio here. He coached tight ends at Arizona State, at SMU. And so here was uh, Coach Satterfield's response to how uh, Josh Martin has been stepping into that role coaching tight ends. Really pleased with Josh. I mean, he's you know he's coached tight ends at a high level, you know, at Arizona State, and then again at SMU. Uh, he's very confident. Like it's it's amazing. I've not we've not had to meet with the tight ends. Me and Garrett thought going in like we'll kind of go back and forth in the past game, and then Donnie could help in the run game, and, and he's been rolling like he hit the ground running on Friday. Learned everything in install one, install two, and has one or two questions a day. But I mean, those guys know what to do, know how to line up. They're playing at a high level. They're playing with confidence, and I think he's doing a really nice job. You know, I uh, worked with Grant Calcaterra at Oklahoma before he, so Grant's got a kind of a crazy story, but he, he was a tight end at Oklahoma. He retired because he had too many concussions and he came back to football. And when he did, he played at SMU. And then when he was a player at SMU, his uh, tight ends coach was none other than Josh Martin. And then Grant ends up getting drafted. He's in Philadelphia with Cam Jurgens up there. And I think they um, expect him to maybe be able to have a bigger role this season. But I, I reached out to Grant and asked him about playing for Josh Martin and what he's like as a coach. And kind of a lot of the similarities, the similar um, traits that you're hearing these other players say about their position coaches that are on this Matt Rule staff that he, he deeply and genuinely cares about his players. He said he, he he was at my wedding this summer, and, and it was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I think he got, mar he got married this summer, and uh, Coach Martin went out to his wedding. He said he, he constantly is preaching day by day improvement, and uh, that he's just he's a really good coach. And said he learned a lot from him, and was really thankful that he got to play under him. I, I did a, a little bit more research on him, and I, I thought this was really cool. He he used the analogy in terms of the tight end, comparing the tight end to. A race car lug nut. So it's not always the part you see. It's not always the, the part you talk about or the flashiest part of it, but that a race car can't exist. It, it cannot function without that lug nut. And so, um, you know, just for a tight end, you got to be dependable. You got to be able to do a lot of different things and might not always show up in the stat sheet, might not always get a lot of glory, but he wants those guys to be guys that cannot be taken off the field. And so, um, you know, love that soundbite from Coach Satterfield, how they thought that they were going to have to go into it and be like, okay, let's here, we'll step in on the passing game. Coach Raley, you help on the run game, but he's been able to seamlessly step right in and how about that for a two deep on a coaching staff to be able to, to just um, move someone over and then now he's right out there on the field. And, and I said this when we, we first talked about Josh Martin, that he's a guy that probably could have already been a position coach. But, um, you know, I know he's big and going to be big in those connections in Texas and recruiting in Texas. That's so important to this coaching staff as well. So um, good to hear. And we'll hear from Nate Borkature and, and what it's been like playing for him uh, here coming up. Here in just a minute. Uh, Cole, other big takeaways that we didn't get to in some of those sound bites? He said the freshmen were fast, really, really fast. Anything else? Um, I, we, we did cover a lot of what he went into. Um, he did also talk about the wide receivers. We didn't really touch on that, but there's a lot of talent. We, talk, we talked about Billy Kemp. There's a lot of talent in that wide receiver room right now with uh, Coach McGuire. It was pretty fascinating how a lot of the, the conversation was geared towards the running back and fullback. So um, we'll talk a lot more about that coming up here in hour number two with running backs coach EJ Barthel, who, Cole, you're a big fan of. 
I am. I just listening and cutting his press conference earlier today, I like the way he talks. He, he motivates me even. So we will uh, dive in more to the uh, Husker running backs coming up in hour number two. All right, we're going to work in another break here. Coming up next, we're going to hear from the tight end, Nate Borkacher. So keep it right here on Sports Nightly. To Hogemeyer, local means something greater. Raise local, raise right here in Husker Nation. Learn more at therightseed.com. Keep it right here. Nate Borkacher up next on Sports Nightly. There's no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and have been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Nebraska Athletics. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast, 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. Did you know that Lincoln's water is four times more hard than what is recommended? This will shorten the life of your water heater, harm pipes through mineral buildup, and is bad for your hair, skin, and clothes. What's the solution? A water softener. Go online to jhlincoln.com to learn more about water softeners and our flexible financing offers. Or call John Henry's. 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. 
See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker Athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! SOS to the rescue, SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue, SOS. If you love trucks and bucks, the Nebraska Lottery's most popular scratch ticket is back and you could win one of eight beautiful new blue trucks. Visit any Nebraska Lottery retailer and play today. Top prize odds, one in 336,000. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. We're talking all things Husker offense as there is a post-practice availability today. Uh, Nate Borkacher is a name we have heard a ton about stating back to January throughout spring football. Matt Rule loves him. And back in the summer, he was uh, he put both Nate and uh, John Bullock on scholarship. And so uh, Nate, the um, Aurora, Nebraska native, I got a chance to chat with him after practice today. Well, how is practice going so far? Uh, practice going great. Um, we spent the first couple of days kind of just more mental with just the uh, spider pads on. Um, now we got the shoulder pads on. We're getting a little more physical, getting acclimated for full pads coming tomorrow. You know, with the, the split practices, how good was that for an entire football team to get a lot of reps, a lot of opportunities, and, and get a feel for fall camp those first couple of days? Yeah, that was great. Uh, we had a lot of reps in a short amount of time instead of less reps in a long amount of time. And it gave an opportunity for the group that wasn't practicing to lift and do other things that are essential. We haven't had a chance to talk to you, so take me back. You, you get announced that you're going to be put on scholarship. How special was that moment? Uh, it was amazing. Um, I just thank Coach Rule for that, giving me that opportunity. Um, I can't change as a player, just got to do the same thing. Did, uh, did you know it was coming? Did you have a feeling it was coming? I had no idea. Uh, he just brought the team up. We actually had exit meetings before that, and he didn't say a word. And then he brought the whole team up and said it, and I was so surprised. You know, I mean, I talked to Fedoni, a lot of guys that were so happy for you. What does that mean to you that this team, it meant a lot to them that you were put on that scholarship? Yeah, this, this team's got each other's backs. Um, I got theirs, they got mine, and, and that makes for a better team. Um, I think we're going to do great things together. Being a Nebraska kid and the history of the walk-on, does it mean a little bit extra to you knowing uh, that role that the, it's played in this program throughout the history of the program? Yeah, it means the world. I grew up going to games um, every year, multiple games. Um, it was my dream growing up, so I'm just living it right now. Well, um, overall, how do you feel like you're settling into this offense? Uh, I love the offense. Sat does a really good job, uh, Coach McGuire, in the past game. Um, Donnie on the run game. Uh, we had a good balance between run and pass, um, and I think Sat's going to utilize the tight ends in, in some really, really good ways. What about this group overall with you and, and Fedoni and, and there's some leadership, some guys that have been in the room a while. Uh, how much are you guys taking on that responsibility to kind of be a little bit of a leader for this group? Um, it's important. We got these young guys coming in. Um, it's hard coming in as a young guy. You don't know anything. So they need mental leaders like us to be able to step up and help them out. Um, Josh Martin stepping in to fill the role, uh, and he's coached tight ends before. So far, what's it been like being on the field with him? Um, Coach Martin's coached tight ends almost his whole career. He brings um, a lot of knowledge and a lot of energy, and um, it's been great with him. We've been going out there, and we've got a lot better already. We've been doing a lot of small detail stuff when it comes to the game, and, and I think he's really improving our tight end position. I know you'll get a fill form as it goes, but what are kind of the big keys that he wants to implement with the tight end group? Uh, we've been working a lot of footwork. Yeah. That's, that's the main thing. You, you talked about with Coach Sat's offense and, and the role of the tight end. How exciting is that to know that you guys are going to be called upon to do a lot of different things? Uh, it's sweet. He runs a lot of 12 personnel, 13 personnel, which is two or three tight ends. Uh, that means that we're all going to get worked in. We're all going to play, and, and I think we're all going to do some good things for the offense. 
And your name is a name that from the start back in January that this coaching staff has talked about doing all the right things. Uh, why was that important to you to kind of come in and, and earn their trust right away? Um, I, I mean, I just got that walk-on mentality, you know. You just go in and work as hard as you can. Being a Nebraska boy, um, kind of show those scholarship guys, you know, how it works around here. And, and yeah, so. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, I think the tight ends are going to be a big part of this offense. I think they've got some guys that they can rely on to do a number of different things. Had a couple of questions in the chat. So asking about the Big Ten bus tour and when they are going to be in Lincoln. Tomorrow, actually. Uh, they will be here tomorrow. Not sure when their coverage, I think their coverage might be on Saturday, but I will check up on that. But they will be at practice tomorrow. And so I'm scheduled to do an interview. Um, not sure with who yet, but we're going to go out to practice and uh, see if we can uh, lock them down and see, get their thoughts on their first time t taking in a practice under Coach Rule. And then uh, that was from John Pinkston. He is asking about the Big Ten crew. And then Mike Mike said, um, if you're able to at the next practice, can you check out the field goal, PAT, kicking? We've heard about the punting, but uh, can you look into that? I will try. Yes, I will, I will try to see if I can uh, check that out and bring on uh, whatever my perspective is, but I will definitely look into that. All right, if you want to be a part of the show, 402-413-2400, the number two text or call, or you can hop on the chat. They always have a great time. Uh, they talk about a lot of things. A lot of times it doesn't have, even have anything to do with the show, but they have a good old time. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a party. They, they call this the party show, but I feel like the party is happening in the chat every night, don't you, Cole? I do kind of get that. I'm kind of jealous because I, <laughs> I don't really get in the chat and type in there, but I get jealous of how much fun they have. Well, they're, they're gearing up to rate your joke here coming up in hour number two. All right, again, the Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back to wrap up hour number one after this. Discover your next Ford with Woodhouse. The truck you've always wanted to the SUV you need, Woodhouse has the full lineup. Plus, a huge selection guarantees you'll get the features that matter and at a smart price, like our current offer on a new Ford F-150. Or needing the versatility of an SUV to take on the everyday? Shop our offers going on now. Find your Ford with Woodhouse online or at one of our three convenient locations. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. 26 Husker students presented research findings on nuclear deterrence to a panel of U.S. Strategic Command officials at STRATCOM headquarters in Bellevue. The student-led presentation was the culmination of a semester of STRATCOM-guided research and the latest in a years-long partnership between STRATCOM and the National Security Studies Program at Nebraska. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See Shelter Agent Jeb Brandt in Hastings or Callie Schilke in Imperial today. 
Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Final segment here of our number one of Sports Sightly. I'm Jessica Cooney. Cole Hartman back there on the board for us. Cole, well, first of all, I don't even know. Are you calling Twitter Twitter or X? I'm still calling it Twitter. I can't adapt to the change. It's just been Twitter for too long for me. I, okay, yeah, and then it's we say tweet, but what is it? Is it just called a post? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a letter because it's <laughs> a letter in the alphabet. I don't know. But if you just if you put out a like what used to be a tweet, you know, what what is that then? Right. I don't know. There's there. I know they say like repost or whatever, but anyways, I'm still going to for the sake of my, where my mind goes, I'm going to keep saying Twitter and tweets. But uh, Nebraska football put out this hilarious video. That I think it was this, it was this morning this morning that at in the dorms it was Malachi Coleman. Did you see it, Cole? I have not. Okay, so they pulled a prank on Garrett McGuire. It was Malachi Coleman, a couple other guys that were filling up cups of water, and they filled up Garrett McGuire's entire dorm room full of cups of water. So when he opened it up, it just is like you had you had to just like navigate through the cups. And so he walks over to the camera or whatever, and he is like. <laughs> You guys are a bunch of idiots or whatever. Laughed about it. Had a, had a good time about it. But it seems like uh, they're having a little bit of fun with the dorms. I think they'll probably be really ready to be out of there by the time it's all said and done. Um, did you did you stay in those dorms? Do you know which ones they're in? I do know which ones they're in. So how, when are they moving out? Are they just well, the, in there for They're there for, for I think for two weeks. Right. So just for the beginning yeah. portion of camp. And they moved in a week Saturday, so... They'll probably get to leave after camp on Friday, maybe, would be my guess, or maybe Saturday. Right. I didn't live in the Selick dorms in particular, but I visited, and they're, they're, uh, it's a pretty simple life, I guess. Well, that's what Coach Rule wanted. Hey, I think, though, we should maybe try to, like, do that prank on Greg sometime. Like, maybe just put up a bunch of, like, cups of water underneath his seat here in the studio. I'm down. <laughs> Hopefully he's not listening, but we, we definitely should come up with a prank of our own and then we can maybe film it and uh, put it on our uh, social media accounts, maybe show you guys on social media. You had this in the ticker, but another dominating performance by the Husker women's basketball team. How about that? This, they're, well, they both games over 100 points and like a 50, 60, maybe 60-something 60 point margin of victory today. Yeah, in the first Wild. 10 minutes or so, it was close, as much as the end score did not show that. I mean, it was competitive there for a minute, but five players, six players in double figures. You it had Markowski's double-double, but how about Darian White, the transfer? We, we had her in studio a couple weeks back, and she is fun. I think she's going to be a fan favorite. She had 15 points, nine rebounds, five assists, three steals. I think that kind of stat sheet stuffing is something potentially we could see from Darian a lot of nights. Uh, she can do a lot of different things. She's going to fill a little bit of the Sam Hybe role. Don't want to, you know, put that on, pressure on her to be Sam Hybe. She's going to be her own player, but I think she can do a lot of the things maybe that, that Sam Hybe did throughout her career. She could score, rebound, pass, allow Jazz to maybe move off the ball a little bit. Jazz also had 13 points, and Kendall Moriarty with a big day as well. 15 points, five assists. And the freshman, Natalie Potts, I'm really excited about her. She had 12 points, six rebounds, and four steals. So there's a lot of um, really great talent on that team, and I cannot wait uh, for basketball season. All right, that'll wrap up our number one. We're going to keep talking football with EJ Barthel and Ben Scott right here on Sports Sightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm sports media student Connor Clark with Campus News. Engineering professor Ronald Fowler has been named a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors, the highest professional honor among academic inventors. As director of UNL's Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, 
Fuller has played a key role in developing innovative roadside safety technologies that are used around the world. Fuller has earned eight U.S. patents and three foreign patents over his 35-year career. There's no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and have been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Nebraska Athletics. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers.
Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Today, Nebraska football continues to progress through fall camp in preparation for the Minnesota on August 31st. After practice, several coaches and players met with the media. Running backs coach E.J. Barthel was asked about his room's depth chart at the moment, and here's what he responded with. You know, I think ultimately, Coach Rule, right now, we're not, we're not talking about starters right now, right? Right now, we're really going to see who's going to represent the brand of football that we want to put out there uh, against Minnesota, right? So really, we're still in that earn it phase right now. And I think no one's really separate themselves um, as the clear guy or, you know, and the reality is we're going to have to use multiple guys throughout the season. That's, that's the reality. So the biggest thing is the bottom half of our room, we got to make sure is ready to play, right? That's getting Quinton Ives ready to play, getting Emmett Johnson ready to play. When I say bottom half, I'm talking about youth. I'm not talking about um, uh, a talent. And um, you know, Trevin Lubin, right, being ready to play. So that's, that's the biggest thing. The other thing is, too, is getting those guys prepared for special teams, right? You know, you may carry only four or five backs, right? Those guys that are on the bottom half, or bottom half of the room, need to be solid contributors on special teams on game day. So there's a lot of things going on right now we're trying to you know, work through for camp and to get ready for Minnesota. Coming up on the show, we'll hear more from Coach Barthel as he dives deeper into the running back and fullback room. Turning towards women's hoops in Greece, Alexis Markowski produced her second consecutive double-double of the trip with 19 points and 14 rebounds to help the Huskers roll the Petras All-Stars 111 to 48 earlier today. Also at the top of the stat line was grad transfer Darian White, who managed 15 points on nine boards, and junior guard Kendall Moriarty tallied 15 points and five assists. Nebraska concludes its three-game tour of Greece on Monday, August 7th, against the Crete All-Stars at 11 a.m. Central. Live video and live stats will be available at Huskers.com. And a few finals from earlier today in Major League Baseball. The Phillies topped the Marlins 4-2. The Rangers defeated the White Sox 5-3. The Royals win big over the Mets 9-2. The Orioles take down the Blue Jays 6-1. And a solo home run uh, from the Giants was enough to take down the Diamondbacks as they won 1-0. Currently in action, the Yankees are ahead of the Astros 3-2 through 2. Brewers are up on the Pirates 5-1 in the third. And the Twins and Cardinals game is scoreless early in the second. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is Hour 2 of Sports Nightly, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. With trips to the near side, rolls the pocket right, being hit as he throws down a field. The pass is up for the in the air. Marquise Buford makes a pit. There's the first INT of the year for the Husker. Marquise Buford pulls it out of the air at the Nebraska 24-yard line. Second Second and six, DeVito goes shotgun. Motions the tight end. So you have three eligible to the near side. A little screen to the near side. Huskers blew it up. Oh, what a play made by Quentin Newsom. Read that beautifully, made the tackle. It's a loss on the play of four yards. Snap back. They give it off to Anthony Grant. Picks his way to the left. Inside the 10, inside the 40, 35, 30. Breaks the tackle. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Here is your host, Jessica Cooty, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome back. Hour number two of Sports Nightly as we welcome you back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Got a fun hour number two coming your way because we've got Cole's bad joke of the week here in just a few minutes. We're also going to talk to Ben Scott and how he's been settling into that center position. But we're going to keep talking running backs, and we're going to hear from the running backs coach, E.J. Barthel. And, of course, he is not ready to name any starters or any kind of depth chart with his guys, but did, was asked about what separates, what, what, how are the, what are the separators for those guys. 
Well, that's great. I think that's a great question because, you know, we got here, we're trying to lay the foundation, right, of, of how we're going to hold accountability off the field, right? And then we get into mat drills and, and, and spring workouts, uh, winter workouts, and then spring ball, lay the foundation of what we expect moving for camp. And I think now we're really into the detail part, right? We're really trying to make sure that not only, not only are we running the ball with physicality, just talking about the running backs uh, right now, but not only uh, are we running the ball with physicality, but are we going to be detailed in ball security? Are we going to be detailed in, in, um, in, in, in pass protection, right? Making sure that everything we do is, is applicable to the game and what we're doing to prepare us for the season. So the details right now is really the biggest thing that we're really trying to set, uh, to, to set in, in front, and speaking from my room. And, and basically, the other thing is I think we need to you know, really mimic what the what, what what the head coach's uh, uh, vision is, which is all our vision, is is we need to learn how to earn it, right? We got to earn our way and earn our respect here, and it starts with running the ball, in my opinion. You know, again, since we started doing interviews with this staff, the position coaches, and even you know from the support staff and players, it's the same message. And so we heard Coach Rule talking about we got to earn it, we got to earn the right to go play Minnesota, we got to earn each day. And there you just heard um, Coach Barthel talking about we got we got to earn it. We got to earn it every single day. So, um, you know, that's you, you can tell when they're on the same page, when when the, the messaging is the same from top to bottom. And certainly that is the case. We're, we're hearing it over and over again throughout these availabilities during fall camp. All right. Ball security, taking care of the football. How do you track that and pass protection? The running backs coach was asked about that. We're going to run the ball with the line mindset. What that means is everything we do, we're going to attack with the line demeanor. And, uh, you know, you wake up a line and you do line things, right? And, and a line just makes sure he, if he's going to hunt, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't kill, he doesn't eat, right? So that's the reality of how, how we want to run the football. Everything we do needs to be with a physical intent. And we want to dominate every rep, right? And we're going to fight fight and goes back into that theme I'm talking about of earning every single yard, right? And that's that's really the, the, the representation of our brand um, this camp is really earning a respect and earning every inch. And I think that starts with running the ball with a, a level of dominance um, upon tackles. Um, the other thing is too on pass protection, right? We want to make sure that we're setting the tone for, for pass protection. We don't want to be collecting the defense or collecting a defender upon contact. We want to have a great base and make sure that we deliver a strike um, that is, is setting the tone to who we are as a brand, which, are, which is Lions. Cole said he was ready to run through a brick wall after he caught that soundbite up of uh, Coach Barthel. Well, it's um, Anthony Grant coming off a, a great season for the Oscars, a thousand yard season, and certainly is um, fighting for playing time once again. I, Anthony, by the way, I can't wait to chat with him because I ran into him. He's, he did a really cool internship over the summer. We're going to hear a little bit more about that, I think, next week with Dennis LeBlanc, who's going to talk about that. But I know he's uh, really settling in to a lot of different roles here in the classroom and then on the football field as well. But um, Coach Barthel, going back to football, was asked about what he's seen out of Anthony Grant and how he's been progressing this fall camp. You know, the, the best thing now that I'm noticing is he's starting to, as he comes back to the to the huddle when he when, when he makes a mistake or not, not I wouldn't say a mistake when he misses a read, um, he's already starting to see it himself, right? And the biggest thing is the film room, right? You get to slow things down for him, and you you, you know this you, you make a fast error, but you get to see it on film slow, right? So he's already starting to respond when he starts to see things. Um, um, uh, when he's starting to miss things on the field, but also starting to see it on the film room. So he's really responding well to really kind of understanding the playbook, understanding where the ball's supposed to, where the ball's supposed to be and where we're supposed to, what we're supposed to do with the ball when we get there. I love this next soundbite from Coach Barthel. He's uh, talking about carries and, and what he's looking for when you get the handoff. It's not always about ripping off a long run and getting into the end zone. Absolutely. The one thing about the running back position, I think, is that's really important, is that every home run, every run's not going to be a home run. They got to understand when the things are messy, right? As long as that we know where the ball's supposed to insert, right, and we can force a four-yard carry, right? Every every run's not going to be pretty. Every six-yard run's not going to be pretty. But the reality is, when we run the ball with a certain intent, and we understand where the ball's supposed to be, and we're physical at the point of contact, and we finish with line effort and line demeanor. Um, you know, we expect to, to collect those four or five yard runs that aren't pretty. And that puts us in second and five. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good situation. I think I answered the question. I'm not, yeah, that's, 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 that's the emphasis for us right now. All right, so we talked about Anthony Grant. Let's talk about Gabe Irvin Jr. 
getting a name we've heard over and over again since January. He also met with the media today as well. But what's the next step for Gabe here in fall camp? I think mentally he's really accepted um, his daily approach. You know, I think the spring, um, the one thing was teaching him how to be a, a guy, right? What I mean by that is, like, as far as how you prepare for practice, how you take care of your body, right? Uh, your expectations when coming in the meeting room, coming in the meeting room prepared, right? He's really, he's really accepted it in the spring, but now he's showing it, right? He's really, really confident, really focused on the daily task at hand, but also and being a really mature player off the field. That's the key. You know what I mean? The chance to work with Christian McCaffrey, you got to saw that. Guys like Mike Davis when we were at Carolina as well. You got to see how they prepared. And that's the biggest emphasis that Gabe has, 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 um, um, has accepted um, since we've gotten here is that he's really took, took, took ownership of being a mature veteran player, which is hard to do when you haven't played a lot. So um, that's, that's a really key point. And finally, we wrap things up with Coach Barthel. He talked a lot about the fullbacks, but we're going to end it right here with um, what goes into being a fullback, how they fit into this offense. Absolutely. That's what you're looking for at a fullback. You're looking for a fullback that can line up pretty much anywhere and be able to be, uh, um, um, uh, I guess, be able to be uh, versatile. That's the word I'm looking for, right? So not just line up and block, but be able to catch out of the backfield, be able to line up in the slot, be able to run the ball at H. So there's multiple things that you need to do from the fullback position. I'm not, we're not just talking about putting your hat down and, and blowing guys up. We're talking about really just being versatile, and that's, that's, what, we're, that's what, we're, what we're doing. I know they've got some guys working out there at fullback that they're excited about, so we'll continue to hear more about that. But that was a big topic today uh, throughout the media availability with those coaches and players. So on the chat on YouTube, Megan H. had this cool story I just saw. Um, she said, best moment from fan day was when E.J. Barthel was holding my daughter's American Girl doll and talking about his favorite ice cream. He had me cracking up. He definitely had his opinions. How cool is that? There you go, Cole. Another reason to like Coach Barthel. Love every aspect of it. It's sweet. But guess what she says he said was his favorite ice cream? I have no idea. Sea turtle. Did you even know that was? I didn't even know that was a flavor. What? what? Sea turtle from Scoops is what she said. He said was his favorite ice cream. I've never even heard of sea turtle ice cream. Uh, what even? Would it, I'm sure it's not actual sea turtle. They're endangered. <laughs> right? I would hope not. I'm sure. I'm sure we can Google what goes into a sea turtle. But I've never heard of sea turtle ice cream. I'll do some. I'll do some research on it on the uh, through this break. It's awesome, though. I mean, we heard Billy Kemp talk about how he got some signatures. Malachi Coleman did. I know that they really enjoyed fan day and getting to interact interact with the young fans. Um, do you have what is your favorite ice cream, though, Cole? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, something, something caramel, caramely, you know, like a caramel vanilla with maybe a pecan. I don't know if that's even a thing, but <laughs> if not, I'll make it. You not a big ice cream guy, or what? Just I, yeah, I just don't get out there often, I guess. Well, I I always am good with the vanilla. Um, I like like lime, orange, sherbet. Um, but I um I I like ice cream. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but I like a lot of different flavors of ice cream. Where I, do you I guess I'll have to look into sea turtle and see what that's all about. Where do you stand on peppermint? Are you for um, or you know, it's not my favorite. It's not like I despise it and won't eat it, but it's not like my favorite. Right. So, all right, fun stuff. I'll bet Jeremiah Searles has an opinion on ice cream. Uh, we'll ask him about that tomorrow as well. All right, got to get to another break here on Sports Nightly, 402-413, the number to call or text if you want to be a part of the show and write that down so you can make sure and get those uh, votes in for Cole's Joke of the Week coming up here in um, right around the corner. We're a couple segments away from that. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Ben Scott, I bet he likes ice cream. He's up next here on Sports Nightly.
TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL, like no other. <laughs> allergy season is officially here. Your home should be a place where you can escape dust, pollen, and other allergens. But every time you enter your home, you bring them inside. John Henry's offers numerous products to remove allergens and germs from your home. Call John Henry's today to learn more about our indoor air quality products to breathe easier in your home. Four, three, five, fifty-five, fifty-five. John Henry's plumbing. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide. Broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day-by-day -day donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Today we have two very special guests on our program. Introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For new Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop-hip. Works for me. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Woodhouse Chevy is making car buying better. Now with two convenient locations in Missouri Valley, Iowa, and our newest location in Omaha at 112th and Dodge. Plus, going on now, receive up to $6,000 off MSRP on the 2023 Chevy Silverado. Visit us in-store or online anytime to shop our current offers and inventory. Find new roads with Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley and now in Omaha. With blue credits, you get it for details. Offers are 731 2023. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hy Online.com. 
It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with hy V Isles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95. And delivery is free with the hy V Plus membership. Save time, shop online with hy V Isles Online. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Right now, enjoy great value on outdoor power equipment from Steel, from gas powered blowers, chainsaws, and more to high performance pressure washers built to tackle the dirtiest jobs. Find yours at STIHLDealers.com. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. Cole, I did a little investigative journalism. By that, I pulled up Google and Googled sea turtle ice cream. This is what it says is in sea turtle ice cream. A, and this is HEB. So, um, HEB Creamy Creation Sea Turtle Ice Cream is a blue vanilla variety with unexpected surprises throughout. Alongside swirls of graham crackers, there's chocolate turtle truffles that are filled with caramel. So, do you say caramel or caramel, by the way? Or, let's not go down this road again <laughs> <laughs> with Crick and Creek. I say caramel, obviously. I say caramel. I want to say it's more European to say caramel. Mm. I, I don't know. Yeah, again, we don't, we don't need to go down this road. Yeah, well, uh, I just figured before somebody called me out, I say caramel. All right, well, Ben Scott, the transfer from Arizona State, has filled in nicely with this veteran offensive line group. He's taken over the center spot, playing alongside a lot of guys that have played a lot of football together. And, um, you know, he, uh, Ethan Piper said, I think it was at Media Days, that he's like a guy – that they've only known him for six months, but he's fit in so well that it's almost like they've known him for six years. Like he's been here the whole time with these guys. So I hadn't had a chance to talk to Ben Scott since he's been here on campus, but I was able to do so today after practice. All right, well, three days now in the books. How's it been going? It's been going good, you know, just uh, getting out there and getting comfortable with all the guys again. You know, um, just like in spring ball, just trying to get the, that chemistry down, get everyone on the same page and, you know, do our best. You came from Arizona. It's hot there, but not as humid, right? How are you managing the, the humidity of Nebraska these last few days? Yeah, it's a little bit different, but, you know, it's not too bad. You know, the, the sun wasn't that out uh, too much during these last practices. So, you know, it's, it's, it's been uh, going good. Take me back to your decision when you decided to enter the transfer portal, what you were looking for, and, and why you felt like you could find that at Nebraska. You know, I was looking for uh, like a culture that can like bring everyone together and and have like like a winning culture. And you know, I came here in uh, the Big Ten, and with Coach Rule and his staff and Coach Donnie being the O line coach, you know, I really uh, liked what what uh, they were gonna bring here. And you know, I just came and trusted them. Talk to several of the guys that you're playing alongside right now that have played together a lot, and they said that you just came right in and, and fit right in. Like you've been a part of this group for years, not just months. What went into that? How were you able to, to come right in and, and fit in right away? Um, the guys are really welcoming, you know, and uh, I feel like no matter where you go, O linemen are, are kind of always like kind of like the, the the same vibe going on. So they're easy to to work with, and you know they're all hard workers, and they brought me in, and we we're just working hard to do our job. You talked about that culture, and everyone on this football team has talked about the O-line and how you move together together as a group. You guys are really close-knit. How have you liked being a part of that, um, that, that culture that you speak of? Oh, it's great having this brotherhood, uh, making sure everyone's on time and not having what they have, and make sure your shirt tucked in, and they run into the ball and picking up the running back. Like, all that stuff, it's so so small and so, like, tedious. But, you know, like, to be great, you have to do every single thing right. How important is that to be able to build a cohesive unit that what you're doing off the field translate on the field? Yeah, I mean, like, even in the meeting rooms and, like, walking to the dorms right now in fall camp, you know, like, like we're making sure that we're all together and we're – because we're one unit and it translates to the field because, you know, all five of us got to play together. And then if the tight ends there, all six of us or seven. So, you know, it has to be that unit all working together. You've played multiple spots on the O-line, right? How much are you liking moving into center and, and filling that role here? Yeah, I like center. I mean, um, I played it last season, and, you know, I'm building off of that season. So, I mean, playing center again is amazing. And I have great guys next to me that are working really hard and doing our jobs and 
communicating very well, so it makes my job really easy. What goes into being a, a guy that you can can be called upon in that role, especially in a new offense? Like, what, what have you done to try to uh, establish yourself with the quarterbacks, with the offensive coordinator, with the guys alongside you? There's a lot that goes into play in center. Yeah, I mean, I'm studying my playbook 24-7. We're always watching film. You know, the O-line, we always come in before we watch film as a group, and some of us will come in, like, after lunch and watch film, and we're looking at, at our drawing sheets, and we're drawing up plays because, you know, this defense is uh, – like you have to draw up that defense to go against it every day, and you know we're just we're just working as a unit, cohesive unit. How the quarterbacks been working with the new with the quarterbacks here? Oh, the quarterbacks have been good. You know they're all locked in. You know, Jeff, Heinrich, Chuba. You know they're always locked in, and uh, they're really great leaders when uh, when we're out there. So it makes our job a lot easier. And you said you've been studying the playbook. How much do you like this offense? Oh, it's amazing. There's so many different things, but you know it's it's uh, good for the old line that we can just. You know, do our jobs and hopefully a run breaks out or like RPO pads, you know, whatever, whatever we're called to do. And uh, playing for Coach Raiola, learning his technique, what have you enjoyed most about playing for him? Oh, Coach Raiola, he, he's really hard on, on his, using his technique. And, you know, uh, every day we're just like those little details every day, working on like, you know, doing what we have to do and, and making those blocks just that much better so that a run can pop out. Last thing I got for you, I mean, you've played a lot of football. Now you're playing alongside of guys that have played a lot of football and especially together. But what goes into continuing to build an offensive line over the next month so that you guys are ready to go come kick off in the first game? You know, it's it's really nice having a lot of guys that play a lot of football playing next to you. And we're all a bunch of a bunch of veterans and it makes uh, everyone's job a lot easier. And, uh, you know, but we're still just building on our techniques and chemistry and communication and, you know, like, Every play is not going to be perfect, so we just got to work on it every day and do our jobs the best we can. Listen, you said O-line, they, you fit together. You all speak the same language. I've always said offensive linemen are the best interviews. You, you continue to fall in that line, too. I mean, you've got a lot of guys on your line that are great to talk to, and I, you, you have kept up that trend here. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I, I almost saved his interview tomorrow for Searles, but, hey, we talk enough O-line with Searles, and so I wanted to get him on the show tonight. But... Obviously, a great perspective there, and um, I was learned so much when when I chat with offensive linemen. When um, after I got done interviewing him, he was waiting to get up to the podium, and so we were talking about the dorms. And he said, "You know, it's it's actually really cool because they split us all up, which you know we we've talked a lot about here on the show, but that they're splitting them up so that they're not with guys that they would always run with. So if given the choice for the offensive line, they'd all stay together. They'd all be each other's roommates, but they've split them up. And his roommate is Javier Morton. And so I asked, I asked him if he's heard of any, uh, any of Javi's beats, because, you know, Javi's a great rapper. He, he makes a lot of music, and he's really, really good at it. And he said he has heard a little bit of that, but that he's been, it's been really fun getting to know Javi. What a cool idea and plays along with exactly, goes along with exactly what this staff has been trying to do all summer is um, let these guys get to know each other outside of the groups that they always run with. It's a big football team, and it can not, not be clicky, but you can just get to where you're with your same position group, the same guys you've run around with the whole time, the whole time that you've been on campus. And so this forces these guys to get to know each other on a different level, and, and it makes you want to battle in a different way when you know them on a different level. It makes you really want to fight for them out on the football field when you're going through um, any kind of adversity. You want, you want to fight for those guys alongside you. So playing along or going along with that same theme that we've heard all throughout the summer of, of building that brotherhood and that chemistry. So um, there has been Scott, and we will have more O-line talk, I'm sure, tomorrow, uh, next week, every time that Searles is in uh, throughout this next week. But um, want to get to another break here on Sports Daily because we got to leave plenty of time for Cole's joke of the week. We also have another fun segment that we're going to do as well. So um, keep it right here on Sports Nightly. And um, make sure that you are getting those phones ready to text in 402-413-2400. The number to text in your ranking, your rating of Cole's joke of the week. The Sports Nightly hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Cole's bad joke of the week coming up next here on Sports Nightly. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. 
Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid materials with protein or Redmond Natural Mineral Salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn help take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <laughs> If you're an unconditional, wholehearted, and ever so loyal Husker fan, you deserve to pay like one everywhere you go with the free FNBO Husker Visa debit card. Fuel your fandom all season and beyond with a debit card just for you. It's free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get your free Husker Visa debit card at any branch or at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raise local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red! S-O-S to the rescue, S-O-S to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. S-O-S, he screams and calls S-O-S Heating and Cooling his favorite Lux Air dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Lux Air you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. S-O-S Heating and Cooling. S-O-S to the rescue, S-O-S. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. 
See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network broadcast center sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Daily. I'm Jessica Cootie and it is that time of the week. Cole's joke of the week segment. We like to do this. We started it on Thursday nights. Greg keeps threatening to take it away, but we had enough of you guys text in and say, please don't let the bad joke segment go away. So it is back for another week. And as long as Greg's out and I'm in, Cole, I'll keep bringing it back. But um, you're up. We have your, it's, it's your time to shine. Your joke of the week time is now. I, I do appreciate it. I will say you guys are maybe overhyping because it might, <laughs> it could be a mediocre segment. But, Uh-oh. but um, the joke this week Jessica. Okay. Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? He was outstanding in his field. Ooh, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. I wanted it on the action this week. You told me I could chime in, right? So yes. I found a funny joke. I won't do it every week, but I did find one that I think was funny for this week. What do you call a chicken staring at lettuce? Uh, no idea. A chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> Did it, all right. We're not rating my joke tonight. We're just rating Cole's. So get those ratings in, one through ten, for Cole's joke of the week on the Scarecrow uh, joke of the week on the chat. I know the guys are always chiming in. We'll get to those responses in our final segment here on Sports Nightly. And uh, text in as well on our text line. I did want to get to something else here tonight. So ESPN every summer has like this, I don't know how long it is, like a couple days or so where they put some obscure sports on television. And I think we talked about handball a little bit last year, but listen to some of these events that they have going on that you can watch on ESPN, I think starting, starting tomorrow. But they've got the 2023 Wisconsin Auctioneers Championship. The Microsoft Excel World Championship. What do you think goes into a Microsoft Excel competition? Like how have, fast you can build tabs? I have no idea. Is it just for good uh, accountants? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people use Excel, but... You, I, you, you use Excel, right? It must be set up kind of... Yeah, I do sometimes. It must be set up kind of like a coding challenge where they give you a prompt and you got to solve to get whatever it is. I don't know what they're doing, but... We have truck and tractor pulling as well, arm wrestling, and there's like the World Dog Surfing Championship. I need to get Sunny in on that, see if I can train her to get in on that. Corgi races are always hilarious, but one of the things that caught my attention today, I promise I had to point to all of this, ESPN put out a graphic that said um, draft, you have, it was five players, you pick five players and they had a number of athletes that you could pick from to your best kickball team, because kickball is another sport that they will be showing, the, I don't know, World Kickball Championships or something like that. So I challenged you. We're going to have a draft here. We're gonna, And current Husker players, we're going to draft, um, snake draft, we'll, or we'll just go back and forth. Five players. You can't pick anybody. You can only have one player from a sport, so you can't repeat sports. And we can't pick the same player. So if you pick the person, it's off the board. You ready? You did some research, right? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the first pick. Okay. Oh, oh, I get the first pick. Yeah, I'll give you the first pick. I'm taking kind of an obvious one, Jordy Ball. Jordy you, Ball, you all right. A, you need a pitcher. I don't. Well, it's not really pitching. It's like underhand rolling, right? But still, you. She could probably throw some, you know, some nastiness to right. her. Right. She's got to have seven different kickball 
pitches. So that's my first pick. I love it. Great what you, pick. What have you got? Um, I am going to go with soccer, right? And our former intern here on the Huskers Radio Network, the goalie, Sammy Hawk, because I feel like she could catch it if it gets kicked to her. She could also kick it. She can throw it. She can do a lot of different things. I feel like I could plug her in in a lot of different areas. So um, there That's is fair. my soccer player there. Who you got second? That's a fair and versatile pick. I'm going to go uh, Timmy Bleakroad because when you think about – I could have gone with Brian Bashini, but when you think about kickball, it's, it's from the – ground you're not drop kicking you know what I mean yeah so that's that's my thought there yeah I mean I was probably going to go either uh, Tristan Alvano but I will take I figured you'd take Brian Buscini so I'm going to take Brian Buscini because we saw him launching him at practice the other day so he could probably kick a home run over the fence at this point so uh, we were, he was just on the minds when Greg and I were talking about him really standing out to practice so I'll go with Brian Buscini so I've had football, you've had softball, I had soccer. We had two footballs, and then um, you had softball, soccer. Who you got next? Well, you need an infield, right? Yep. I'm taking, uh, I, don't, I, can, I can only take one of those two middle infielders this last season for Nebraska baseball. I'll take Max Anderson. All he, right. He, he, was, he was pretty solid. Well, I'll st also stick with the uh, infield. I'm going to go with Billy Andrews. Because, again, you know, you're talking about somebody that can lock down the infield. But also, for the three years that she's played for Husker softball, she's led the team all three years in stolen bases. So she's super fast. She's a weapon on the bases. I uh, got to think she can do a little bit of everything. She can hit home runs. She can probably kick it pretty far. And then she can, um, yeah, be a, a, an infielder for you, too. So I'm going with Billy Andrews. My next pick, I'm going to go with a leader in Lexi Rodriguez also could play a, probably a pretty good outfield with the digs, the dives, all that. So that's, that's my fourth. Where are we on fourth? I love it. Great pick. Well, you got to have a hype man. Give me Casey Tominaga. I don't know where I'd play him, but he's going to bring the energy. He's going to talk trash to the opposing team, the opposing team's crowd. He's going to hype up your team. He's a great teammate. Everybody loves him, and I'm sure he can probably play kickball pretty well, too. My final pick, I'm going to go with an all-rounder for this one, just Jazz Shelley all around every aspect of the game, at least in basketball. That, that probably translates, right? She's good at every aspect of the game in basketball, probably good at every aspect of the game in kickball. That's my final pick. I love it. All right, I'm going to also stick with women's basketball as well. Give me Maddie Kroll, and I'll tell you why. So um, I was talking to her back when we were doing the National Girls and Women in Sports Day coverage and how much it means to her because, especially with the women's basketball team, you'll always see a lot of the after the games, a lot of the young girls sticking around to get autographs. And so I asked Maddie, who's a Nebraska kid, about how much does this mean to you being that you were once this little girl? And she's like, actually, I grew up a soccer player and I wanted to play soccer for a long time. She just had the dream to and, and switched to basketball later in her high school career, but she is always was a, a soccer player. So she, you know she's an athlete. You get another soccer player who could obviously kick it. She's very good defender, aggressive. So I think she's a little bit of an all-arounder, but you, you throw in the fact that she's a soccer player too. I feel like that's a little bit of a a hidden weapon there because uh, you think oh she's a basketball player but oh no she played soccer so I feel like that's a pretty big key to this thing too is being able to kick it right that that is true you've you've got the advantage on me in that you have like an in-depth look at a lot of player bios you know in Nebraska athletics I don't I don't have that so you your team might have been I don't know whose team would win I don't know if it matters but <laughs> I don't know if it matters. Well, obviously, I'm always going to say my team is better. But you, you picked a pretty good team. I like that Lexi Rodriguez pick as well. But if you guys have any input, if you like to pick my team or Cole's team, let's run through them again. Okay, I had Billy Andrews. Oh, well, I went Sammy Hawk. I went Brian Buscini, Billy Andrews, Casey Tominaga, Maddie Kroll. You had? I had Max Anderson, uh, Josh Shelley. Lexi Rodriguez, Jordy Ball, and Timmy Bleakroad. Love it. All right. Let us know. And also, I see the 
Um, ratings coming in on your oh, joke no. of the week. So coming up after this break, we're going to get to those responses. Keep it right here on Sports Nightly and buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Meet water's bubblier and more energetic best friend, Bubbler Antioxidant Sparkling Water. With tons of flavors, there's one for every occasion. Interviewing for your dream job, hitting the beach, or going on an epic road trip? Pop the top on your favorite Bubbler flavor and awesome antioxidant swoop in to balance your body and focus your mind. Right before a boost of natural caffeine shows up to save your day, there's a benefit in every bubble and a happier you just waiting to rise up. Find out more at Drink Bubbler on Instagram. Hy-Vee makes grocery shopping easy with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Just order online, schedule a pickup or delivery time, then leave the shopping to us. Download the Hy-Vee app or go to hyveeislesonline.com. It's easy to create and save grocery lists, shop the sales, and get fuel savers. Plus, with Hy-Vee Aisles Online, pickup is free on orders over $24.95, and delivery is free with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. Save time, shop online with Hy-Vee Aisles Online. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Blair is your trusted auto partner with savings on Ram models to fit your lifestyle. During the Make This the Summer sales event, get 9424 off MSRP on a new Ram 1500 Quad Cab Warlock or 8746 off MSRP on a 2023 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Bighorn. Built for summer adventures with massive towing and hauling capability and four legendary engines to choose from. Serving the Metro since 1991, this is Woodhouse. With approved credit, tax title, license extra, 299 dock fee to its sign. When finance with Chrysler Capital. Offer expires 731-2023. See dealer for details. Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates may apply and may vary by carrier. Welcome back. It's at our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service. Advanced agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Final segment here on a Sports Nightly tonight. The results are rolling in. Let's uh, check out the text line first. First of all, uh, Sam in Omaha gave me a heads up. It's in honor of August 8th, so that ESPN weird um, sports segment stuff. It's in honor of August 8th. 8 8 aka ESPN the Ocho it's a skit in the movie Dodgeball so I've never seen Dodgeball so I wouldn't know but I appreciate letting us know that um let's see Carla oldie uh, oldie goldie Cole but well delivered she gave you an eight Art in Los Angeles gave you a seven and me a six for joke time even though I said don't rank me but that's all right and I feel like it was better than a six but that's all right Tim in Minnesota gave you a nine when, and he says, when I can, I try to think about whether it makes any sense. Coles made solid sense this evening. So there's the text line. Let's check out the YouTube chat. Believe um, Crypto gave you an 8.5. Uh, Jerry gave you a five. Dreis gave you an eight. Mike Mike, an 8.3. Um, let's see. I think Andy gave you a 4.5. He's always a... a Kind of a harsh, harsh uh, grader. Dad joke of the day. Um, let's see here. Ah, they said my my joke was terrible. That's rude. 
All I right. thought it was good. Let's see. 8.5. What else did I miss? Did you see any more? Cole, Husker and Hanover. Cole gets a three on this one. That was an old farmer stroke. So apparently you, you've had one that people have heard before. That could be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there you go. There is Cole's joke segment of the week. And we, again, it's a week-to-week -week kind of thing. You guys uh, gave us enough positive response last week that we decided to bring it back this week. We'll see. Well, at least for one more week, it'll be back. We'll see how once we get into football season, how it rolls on. Uh, we did have a question earlier asking actually about... Casey Tomonaga and how his team is doing. So actually, Casey is playing for Team Japan in the FIBA World Cup, and his first game is tomorrow against New Zealand. And so I'm sure if you want to follow the Husker men's basketball social media accounts, they will have all the updates on that. And Reek Mast is also playing for his. Uh, who he's playing for? Um, oh my gosh, where? I just pasted it. Anyways. It, so, that, but that starts, yeah, he's paying for the Dutch. So, the Netherlands. And so, but Team Japan, you can watch Casey tomorrow against New Zealand. I did also want to mention this. Speaking of social media videos, we were uh, joking about the Garrett McGuire prank earlier. Husker Hoops also posted, you can't, wa you can't watch the games that they're playing. They're not streaming live anywhere, but Sam Rice is traveling with the team, and he's posting highlights and recaps afterwards. And he posted a full-on breakdown of Eli Rice, a dunk reel. And, of course, coming off the last game, scored 20 points, 11 rebounds, the 6'7 freshman. It was impressive. That was my first time actually seeing him in action other than some YouTube clips. But I like this group of newcomers that they've brought in. There's some versatility there, some athleticism. And I think Eli Rice is going to be um, a big contributor this year. Have, did you see that, Cole? Did, I did not. You should go watch it. It's um, really impressive to see what he did. I've got a couple of things to watch after the show. This and then that. I that know. Where you been? Tweet. You've been back there editing all day. You got to. You got to. Haven't had time with, to check Twitter. You got to stay up with the X. You know. That's true. The X, and all the posts going on on X slash Twitter. But yeah, it, it was impressive. Um, he's going to be a, a good piece. I like this team. I like the women's team. I said it earlier when we I was breaking down the women's team. And we, we chatted about this last night. It's not like this is really difficult, extreme competition that they are facing for any of these sports when they go overseas. But it's, it's an opportunity for them to get out on the court together, build some chemistry, have some extra practices, and travel and build some, some bonding in that regard. We heard Fred Hoiberg talking about you know, the phones a lot of times don't work when you're in a foreign country, except for when you're connected to Wi-Fi. So it gives you a really a good chance to connect. But I, uh, I'm excited about both these basketball teams. I can't wait for basketball season. I think Coach Hoiberg has done a great job in the transfer portal. Don't know about um, Aaron uh, Eulis yet. It's still a developing story. We mentioned yet last night, that's when the news broke about some of the gambling issues and, and they're just, they're cooperating in any way that we can, any way that they can and need to with the NCAA. They did not know it was an issue when they brought him out at the transfer portal, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, they'll look to see who's going to fill that point guard role if Aaron is not available for this team moving forward. But, uh, you know, the good thing about it is, is if he's not available, they have some time to figure that out. And I do believe they still have an extra scholarship as well. So maybe you could look to maybe do something there if there's still some availability in the transfer portal there. All right, Cole, we made it. What a fun show. First one of seven, right, coming up over the next week and a half? I think so, but we got plenty in store. Oh, yeah, we got some fun stuff. Uh, coming up for you guys over the next week and a half. Lots of football talk as uh, fall camp is fully underway and they'll be putting the pads on. We'll have Jeremiah Searles up for you on the co-host fill-in coming up tomorrow night. We'll talk more Husker football. We'll have player availability as well, so make sure you tune in. Uh, lots coming up for you here. And thanks for listening. Thanks to Cole. Have a great night, everybody. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here's to the locals raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. 
the cutting edge yet common sense agronomy the shake em up yields because we're born and raised here too and we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. raise local raised right here learn more at the right america it's time to gear up and get out there in a new ford vehicle and it all starts at your local ford dealer during the discover summer sales event Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $27.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. A few drinks at home after work, a couple of hits at a party with some friends over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Discover the meticulously crafted and effortlessly iconic 2023 Cadillac lineup at Woodhouse Cadillac. Lease a 2023 Cadillac XT4 for $4.99 a month for 36 months, 10,000 miles per year. Visit us in-store at our newest location at 112th and Dodge in Omaha or online anytime at woodhousecadillac.com. With approved credit, must have a current Cadillac lease. Down